things that pop up that we can do better on. Um, and I call the question. I'm sorry, that's not how this works. We each have an opportunity to speak five minutes. I believe, I thought we did. Yeah, the question's no, been I'm, called. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. We've been done. And that's not how calling the question works. You need a second and you need to vote then on it. Then I have a second for uh, calling so the question. Are you telling me that you're going to keep me from talking right now? You've talked all evening. Look, all look evening. here. You're calling me disrespectful because I've interrupted people, but this gentleman has turned off people's lights in the middle of a global health pandemic. That's what that gentleman did. Point of order. order. And you think I'm disrespectful point for interrupting of, point, point of order. This gentleman point has had the ability to do any number of things. Point we could have banned large gatherings. We could have closed the beach. We could have put a moratorium on, 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 I on utility the cutoffs. I recessed the Also meeting. not within your power, and the attorney the has held that that's true. I recessed the meeting. You came up with new rules at the beginning of the meeting, and then you didn't even want to follow the rules that you came up with. And you took advantage This is a banana republic is what you're turning this place into with your so-called leadership. Does a recess mean that we will be... Yes. Camera on that? I don't, I don't care anything about this. I don't care anything about this. Does we should have been talking about this last week. Can we... We cut off people's utilities this week and no. made them pay what could have been their last check to us to turn their lights on in a global health so, pandemic. So but you don't care about that and you didn't want to meet. One but every other year, you go around and beg people for their votes. Hey. Can we uh, explain the reason? you care more about your relationship with that guy than you care about the relationship with the people who don't go to work Boy, in this oh, building. Lord, you are done. done. You are done. You're done. Disrespectful. It's disrespectful is what you've done to the working people in the city. I didn't do anything. You failed to act. I didn't do anything. When you're a leader, you failed to act. You said you didn't do anything. You failed to act. Oh, when you had an opportunity. A party for State House. I don't care anything about that. Do you think anybody cares? Does a recess mean that we can reconvene tonight? Yes. Or Okay. Is that in five minutes or? Uh... It's when the chair comes back. <clears throat> Man, that was, that was serious. That was serious. And shout out to the, to the young brother. Uh, who just who just spoke those beautiful words, man? And this is what I try to tell people again: when you when you outspoken and you talk about the right things, man, you're gonna ruffle a lot of feathers. You're gonna ruffle a lot of feathers, and that's what that's what I'm starting to feel a little bit. Um, this man is in a is in a chair of uh, West Palm Beach, where they control things as such as you know people's utilities, like. Their heat, their electricity, their water. Like you turn the lights out in somebody's home in this time right here because of what? You trying to preserve some type of upper hand, you know, some type of upper hand, um I don't even know, advantage or whatever. Like this is this is this is uh, is a is a is a mirror reflection of what's going on across the country and across the world. These people that have power, they can shut the lights out like this. Metaphorically, I'm speaking about, and you'll be finished as a little person. But you know, this is this is kind of. I mean, you know, I know, I know, I know. It's uh, it's hard to say sometimes. You know, a lot of times, really, with the whole voting thing. But it's just another. I think I feel like it, it goes into you know why we should take the vote more serious, man. We should vote. We should vote because these are the people that if you don't if you don't give like if you don't care at all like these people you're not even gonna know. You you really not even gonna know who has the power to do what in your actual vicinity, man. You not so somebody shut down your light. You don't even know like his name. That's how that's how farly away connected we are with these politicians and everything. These people are controlling everything, and we are the we are the the audience. They're the puppets, the puppeteers. You know they're controlling us, man. It's a real thing out there. It's a real thing. It's a real thing, and it's sad. It's sad, and then you know when when you point when you point the finger at them. You know now it's all these all this all this jargon, all these you know different set of words, you know running around. The actual situation that they caused. You know it's it's, it's ridiculous. Like when he was calling the, the the lady out, and she proceeds to leave the room. But keep in mind, she is in direct relationship with the other ball guy who actually shut down people's lights. So how do you now have nothing to say? 
And now you want to say people is disrespectful and mad. I go through the same thing in just an everyday life. When you speak out your, your right opinion and the actual facts, then people point their finger at you and say you're disrespectful and you, you're angry and all of this. What's the actual facts, man? What's the actual facts? It's ridiculous out here. So I completely understand where the brother was coming from. This is an everyday life situation. And um, in politics, it's, it's literally that simple. And it's sad. But, you know, shout out to the young brother again. Um, and again, another only brown face in a, um, in a pale audience, you know. So that says a lot as well. So you got to really watch who's representing you and know who's representing you. You have to know these people or know, at least know their intentions and, and their background and, you know, what they, you know, what's their stance on so many different subjects, so many different um, areas and categories of life. You know, you, you can't, I mean, if you like, if you pro-abortion, for example, and then you, you don't even really know who you're voting for right in your district. And he's, uh, he's, um, he's the opposite of pro-abortion, right? And you'd even, you'd even take the time to look out, you know, what's his stance on a lot of different areas. Then you just voted for somebody who represents the opposite of what you want. And that's a disaster. That's a disaster. You see what I'm saying? So just wanted to point that out. Um, he gets a donkey a day as well, just like Charlemagne gave him. And, uh, man, this is a sad situation, especially right now. In this, in this time right here, you shut down people's lights. This, 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 is, this is really something. You know, but um, continue to like, share, subscribe, support. I'm going to continue to speak out on these things. I got a whole lot of content coming out, man. You know, obviously, since we, you know, being quarantined more by the, by the daily, so. Salute.